It fell apart. Hey guys, welcome back to the fire workshop. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about the fire tahedron. The fire tahedron is essentially what makes fire. In the tahedron, you have three things that you need to make fire. You need fuel, oxygen, and heat. Put, any, put those three things together, you will get fire. Take any one of them, one of them out, the fire will go out or you'll fail to produce it. And how's this relate to what we're doing here? I got a couple of cans of air we're working with. Both these cans of air might have one purpose in blowing dust off your table, but they interact with fire very differently. The propellants in these things are super cool to a liquid. When they heat up, it expands to a gas, which essentially is what comes out of this. It's propellant in this container, is flammable. The pellet in this container displaces oxygen. I have these cups right here. It's just a regular cup. That's not gonna do anything, right? Well, check this out. See? You would never guess that would come out of something like this. Now, I could blow at it. It doesn't do anything. But you have it sit in a cup like that and then pour it. It's just like you're pouring a cocktail that's flammable, except it's air. Now this, I mentioned it displaces oxygen. So when I was talking about the fire dehedron, if you take any one of those three things out, the fire will go out or you fail to produce it. So take this, throw it on fire, and it's out. The air contents in these cans, or the liquid if you will, it's right now and they'll expand to a gas, is much heavier than the air around us. So the reason I'm putting it in a cup is because it's literally acting like liquid because it's denser than everything else in the air around it. So that's why when I, if you will, pour it, it looks like I'm just pouring the gas out onto the fire and then either goes out or creates a flame, as you can see. Whoa. Oh, that's different. What I'm gonna be doing is making a little bonfire that's gonna represent the candle that you saw earlier. We're doing this on a small scale here, and as you can see, it's not really blowing up. And you think, why? It blew up before. The reason being is the propellant inside that can is, doesn't have any oxygen in it whatsoever. So if you remember me saying earlier, you need oxygen to make fire, that means the only oxygen available is what's in the air around us, which is on top of that layer of heavy gas. So that's why you're seeing the gas burn its way down the glass. So it's pretty cool on a small scale. I wanna make this on a big scale. And you're sure it's not gonna drift over to that? If it does, it'll be entertaining. So yeah, I think the scale I was going for might be a little too big. So instead of a 50, 50 gallon drum, we're gonna go to five gallons. There's nothing more disappointing than to have a plan and then just see it not work. I'm hoping we get more promising results. We should, worked with the cups. Obviously, it was having trouble breathing with pushing so much oxygen up that it doesn't weigh heavy enough for it to put it out. And those blue flames you saw, that means those flames are starving of oxygen. And that was really cool to see. So, let me see if I could sneak it underneath. So, I wasn't certainly wasn't expanding the fire to breathe up like that, but I think what was going on there was the contents, the gas itself was still so cold inside that bucket that when it went into the flames, it expanded a bit more. And in that process, I think it rushed some air in there. That's just a theory, of course. I have no idea. But uh, that was very interesting. I wasn't expecting that, considering what it did with the candle. And it was kind of suppressing it last time. Last time I dumped it. I don't know. But uh, that's, uh, that's the fire dehedron in a couple ways right there with a can of air. Don't try that at home. But if you like what you see, subscribe, hit that bell. Otherwise you wanna know when I'm uploading. Who knows what YouTube's doing to me nowadays. I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. So please support the channel. Hit that like button as well. We'll see you next time.